Hello friends. So I'm going to be moving bags today and I received this today. Um, I bought it off of Poshmark and it's gorgeous. And as soon as I got it, I just felt like I wanted to move into it. I couldn't wait. So here I am. I just unstuffed it and I was looking at the bag and it's beautiful. I sprayed it down with Scotch Guard, and this isn't something that I'm gonna say that I recommend or don't recommend, but it's what I did. Um, I'm really happy with the purchase. Like I said, I bought it off of Poshmark, and it came with all its stuffing. It came with the paper and the tags, um, and as I was unwrapping it, this was still in plastic, and so was the strap. I'm very pleased with the purchase. It's very smooth and beautiful. I don't see any pebbling throughout the bag. It's just beautiful. So this color, it's such a beautiful spring color, um, spring summer color for me. Um, that's just what I, what I see when I see this color that I got it today and I was just, I'm just moved to get into it. So I brought some of the things that I have from a bin that I keep with like little wipes and stuff. Um, I know that some of the ones that are currently in my bag I'm running out of. So I just grabbed a handful of them so that I could decide if I wanted um, to use those um, today as I'm moving in. The cosmetics case that I'm using currently is this one. And I think I'm going to start using my Little Vera Bradley Disney case. Only because I'm feeling recently like this one is just not holding all the things. And you can see, I think this one's the medium, um, the medium cosmetics case. You can see the size difference. I mean, this is the size of their front pocket here. So... I think I'm going to use this, especially with the lovely um, leather interior that this bag has. I think, by the way, this is called the Camera and Satchel. And it's the regular size. I know they make a smaller version. Maybe it's called the Mini. Perhaps. Um, the that, that other size, the smaller one, doesn't have the rings here. So the handles are always standing up quite firmly because I have had that before. I don't have it currently, um, so I just feel like that other one, for me, that annoyed me because it didn't make it super easy to get into the bag just because this was so firmly standing. Maybe with a little bit of time and use, that would change, but um, yeah, that was one of the things that I disliked about it, but this one doesn't have that problem as these rings allow the strap to go all the way down. And so I'm, I'm just excited to, to move into it. I love the contrasting of the salmon with the green. I just, it's one of my favorite color combos. And because of that, I was thinking of using this charm. And I just made this. Um, I think I got the supplies. So this one is from Joann's. And one of these beads... Probably both of these beads are from Michael's. And then this little claw clasp is from Joann's. Um, and I, I don't go like intentionally, you know, purchasing new beads because I got a new piece. I just, I use what I have, but I do remember getting these at those locations. So I think, because I'm feeling summary I'm gonna use this one let's see what it looks like yeah that's cute right now I'm feeling that I think that makes me happy and I think it's gonna go quite well with my cosmetics case so I see videos of people moving into their bags and I'm always just everyone has things so cute right they have such cute stuff and I just don't feel like I am, like I have the cutest stuff. <laughs> um, but I do have.
have some things, but I like to keep things very practical. So, so that means that I don't want to over carry. Like I don't want to have too many things. I want to make sure that what I am carrying are things that I'm going to use, that it's not making my bag too heavy. And so right now I'm moving the contents from my little bag into this bigger bag. And I think the front pocket I'm going to use for the purpose of carrying all my little packets that I have just because that's easier if they're not going to spill and since that front pocket isn't lined it just makes sense to me so I will share a little bit um, of what I have so I have some of these little Neutrogena face wipes you can use those for anything you don't have to use them for your face um, I have some lens wipes and these are quite good and we use those a ton and then I have some little extra wipes that I got at a restaurant. I have some of these um, pain relief medicated patches. I do feel like they help. I think more than anything they're probably just a distraction because they cause like a mentally tingly feeling. But whether it's just a distraction, it's just a placebo, it doesn't matter if it helps, it helps, right? So I use those um, occasionally at work. And then in addition to that, in this front pocket, let's see, is there anything else? Okay, so I have a couple of these um, Paxitracin ointment packets. And then I have my oil blotting absorbing sheets. I have some liners some feminine products. I have a couple band-aids. I have some wet ones. So these are all things that in a pinch sometimes, you know, you need them. And I would say that's pretty much it. So it's a bunch of all of those things that I already shared. And so that's going to be in the front pocket. And then the main compartment, which is nice and big. Let's see what all we can put in there. My hand sanitizer that I've had in my bag is kind of running out, so I'm going to add a new one. And this is the strawberry pound cake, which I like. Strawberry pound cake. And then I have my Dior balm, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in there. I'm, I think I am going to put my, um, this is Elizabeth Arden, and it's just their 8-hour balm. And it's a clear balm, but it's really nice. It's very hydrating. So I'm going to put that in there. I think I don't have a pen currently in my purse, so I brought another pen so that I could put it in there. And this is a really nice pen. I've been missing my tweezers. I didn't have them in my bag, so I'm going to stick that in there. A mini Eucerin lotion. A Listerine Cool Mints. And I have... A little hair clip that I got from a friend from Hawaii and I love this little hair clip it's so cute when it's in your hair and then what else what else what else I have I have quite a bit of um, of those little packets that have already been opened in here so obviously those are trash um, but I also do like these flosser picks I'm going to put those in my bag. And I have this little sample size Prep and Prime Mac Fix Spray, Fix Plus, Jolly Rancher, Nail File, um, some children's Claritin for my kid in case he needs it. And I have a little, like a little head hairband and some bobby pins in there in case, in a pinch, in case I need them. Okay, so the reason I was thinking of not putting my Dior balm in there is because I got this little sample size of this Buxom. And I think it's in the color Dolly. So I think I'm going to put that in my bag. And I have my favorite face powder, It by, by Pores for my cosmetics. And I have my rolling um, sunscreen, and I like that it's 
this type of applicator, it doesn't, it's not clear, but it still makes it super easy to apply or to attack a kid on the face with it when they don't want to put anything on as far as sunscreen. A little pill container. And my bag is now getting pretty full. But I think I'm pretty much getting everything I wanted in there. Oh, I also have my Dolce Vita in here, but I don't think I'm going to put it in there. I have another lotion, and I am going to put this in my bag because it has shimmer. And I really like shimmer, especially in the summer. And it has a little bit of scent. The other one doesn't. So... Sometimes you want one and sometimes you want the other. So basically, my bag is stuffed, but everything is contained. It's not going to be rolling around. And we're going to put it in the bag, in the new bag. And you can see it fits pretty good. We still have plenty of space left. I'm not going to be changing wallets. I feel like the pink is still going to go great with this. And I've just been loving this wallet and enjoying it a ton, so I'm going to keep that. And I did buy a new little holder for my glasses. I'm the worst. So I bought this from Hobo. And again, I got this off of Poshmark. So again, you know, why let the big people have the money somebody already bought this i don't mind just letting them have the sale especially if they're selling it at a similar price that the retailer is then i just i go for it support their little side hustles or small businesses what i like about it is that it has um, it's double-sided, so you can see there's the Hobo logo, it's leather, and so on this side I can put a pair of glasses, and I can also put one on the other side, and if you want to, it has a little clip, so you can clip it onto your purse. I don't think that'll do that, but it'll be a nice option sometimes. So, for example, I have my sunglasses, I'm going to put those on one side. Oh, nice. They fit perfectly. And then I'm going to put my regular glasses on the other side. And you can see that from here, you, the glasses, the sunglasses, you can't see them. They're, they're in a different compartment entirely. So there you go. I think I'm really going to like that little bag. It looks great. And basically that's it. Um, I'm looking to see what else I have in here. Pretty much receipts, trash, my empty little hand sanitizer. Oh, my keys. I need my keys. That happens to me. Sometimes when I'm moving bags in the morning, I'm like, where are my car keys? I'm panicking. I have to go through the bags <laughs> that I've looked at or that I've tried out and make sure I find them. So... Here they are, my car keys. Stick them in a pocket here so that I'm not panicking in the morning on my way to work. So everything fits perfectly. It's a really nice large size bag. Well, it's not large, medium, medium ish. <laughs> but for me, it's bigger than what I usually carry, although it is not bigger than what I'm currently carrying. I would say it's about the same size as the small Toby tote. Um, I'm so excited. Doesn't she look cute? I think she looks really cute with the charm I made. I've really been getting into making my charms again. And in fact, since I've got you here, I'll show you a few of the beads that I've picked up. And I don't think I have them all here because I got some really gorgeous butterflies that I'm pretty sure I don't have here. I have those over where I have my other tools. Um, all of these beads were more than 50% off. They were about 60% off. 
So I decided to pick them up um, to play and make some more charms. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful. So we'll see. We'll see what comes out of those. Thank you for watching and helping me switch out into my new bag. And I'll be carrying her for a bit. And maybe I'll come back and share if I have any special thoughts. But to be quite honest, I, I already know I'm going to love it. <laughs> and it's in one of my favorite colors. So, yeah, I think, I think she's a new favorite. All right, bye. Thanks for watching.